First question in the first module is always going to be very, very easy. So just dive right in, see what you get. This is what could be any topic, but let's take a look. A mixture consisting of only vitamin D and calcium has a total mass of 150 grams. The mass of vitamin D in the mixture is 50 grams. What is the mass in grams of calcium in the mixture? So I would not use my scratch paper in any way, right? It, it's 100. This is just a question telling you to follow instructions. There is no real, I mean, I guess there's math here, the subtraction, right? But it's 150 total of both vitamin D and calcium. We know the vitamin D is 50, so what's left over? It's 150 minus the 50 is 100. There's really nothing more to a question like this. But we're gonna see that a lot of questions are really just kind of follow instructions, even some of the harder ones. But uh, just to kind of drag this out a bit, one of the most important things for the math sections on the, uh, the, the PSAT is that you don't waste points. Right, so the harder questions are gonna be at the end of the section, but it doesn't mean you need to skip to those and get those right first. Do the easy ones, lock in points on stuff like this, and then you'll slowly make your way to the harder questions. That way, if you do run out of time, maybe not in this module, but in the hard module, then at least you're running out of time on the stuff that you might've gotten wrong anyway. You don't wanna lose points on something like this. This is really, really easy, guys. So you gotta make sure you're locking in all the easy points, and then you can worry about the hard ones. Some people wanna skip stuff like this and be like, oh, I'll get to that in the end. No, 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 do it first, lock it in, then get to the hard stuff.